Hello, I'm William with Motorsports Land RVs. I'm here today to give you a walkthrough on the brand new Winnebago 1808. A uh, new plan they came out with for 2018. After a lot of feedback from customers and that, it just really seems to hit the, uh, hit the uh, nail on the head there. So we're gonna go around the outside first and then uh, we'll head inside. Um, right here, you can see a nice grab handle here. Just a nice feature there to help you, help you get inside. Um, got the power awning here with the LED light on the inside of the awning, which I like because if you have the awning all the way in, if it's windy out, you can still turn on the awning light and uh, have that uh, brighten up your campsite at night, as opposed to when it's on the end of the awning, it gets wrapped up in the material, then you don't really have any light outside. Beautiful finish on these uh, Winnebago's, really high gloss, uh, smooth fiberglass finish. Um, really second to none. I haven't seen much else out there that has such a nice finish to it. Got nice looking aluminum wheels. This is something new they've done this year. Uh, I'm gonna let the camera guy get in here. I'll kind of explain it to you. There's brackets on either side of the axle with uh, bolts and holes in it. You can actually lift this trailer, I think about four or five inches, really easily. You just undo the bolts. You, you know, you take it to a shop like ours. They uh, uh, just lift the trailer up, undo those bolts, drop the bracket down, and you've got another four or five inches of ground clearance just like that. So um, really sweet little option they built in. It's just Winnebago. They, they think of it all and, um, and uh, put these into action. Huge storage area here. Uh, this is also accessible from uh, the bed when it lifts up inside, which I'll show you uh, when we head inside. You've got the magnets here holding this in place so you don't have to deal with the little plastic latches. If you ever had those, they, they tend to uh, break real easy because you instinctively just grab the door and pull it and snap. So um, anyway, real nice storage area. You've got the slam latch doors here. So you just let that go and it's shut. You don't have to deal with the little uh, turn knobs. Up front, got the diamond plate right down here. That's uh, to keep the, uh, the fiberglass from getting dinged up from when uh, rocks get kicked up from your rear tires. So that's a good feature there. You've got the uh, two propane tanks on this trailer. Uh, room for two batteries on the back. Coming around this side, you've got the, uh, it's prepped for solar. So you buy yourself a portable solar panel. Just plug it into that outlet there, aim it towards the sun and you've got, uh, you've got your batteries charging. Solar is awesome out there. Another door here with the, the magnet and that same slam latch deal. That slam shut. <laughs> Six gallon water heater. Nice big slide out on this. You're gonna appreciate that when we go inside to take a look at the space that that gives you. This, a lot of times slide outs just come out you know, a foot and a half or so. This is a big slide out. It's got the dinette in it, which we're gonna take a look at in a minute. Over here, this is uh, where you have your outside shower, all your hookups in that. Uh, you've got a black tank uh, flush clean out on this, so you hook a garden hose up when you're draining the tank. Um, and that uh, sends the water to shower heads built right into the black tank, so it gets nice and clean there. Got the uh, power cord separate. I kind of like that instead of trying to ram it into um, some of the trailers that have a, like a storage box area, you ram it in and it, the cord gets all tangled up typically and you, you can't get it all the way out. So that's the preferred uh, way to go there in my opinion. Spare tire, you got the uh, ladder rack back here. Those speak for themselves. You can see the uh, arch on top of the roof here. This is an arched exterior roof. So you have, uh, when it rains or snows, it's gonna try to work itself to the sides as opposed to a flat roof. It also gives it more strength uh, being it's arched like that. And speaking of strength and uh, lightweight, this trailer has six-sided aluminum construction to it. So the, the back wall has aluminum framing to it, the side walls, the front wall, uh, and the flooring, so, uh, and the ceiling. Uh, that does a couple things, makes for a real strong trailer, and also keeps the weight down, which we're gonna talk about the weight in a second uh, when we head inside. This trailer, total length on this is 20 feet nine inches i believe it's either 20 feet or 20 feet nine inches so that's from the very front to the very back that's a great size trailer um, and we'll head on inside and I'll, I'll check out the weight sticker and tell you where the the dry weight is on the trailer so the dry weight on this trailer as it sits here is 3560 pounds with a tandem axle that's really impressive as you look around at other trailers you'll you'll come to the same conclusion there to have a tandem axle at 3,500 pounds. Now something else you get with the tandem axle is your total gross vehicle weight rating is 7,000 pounds. You have two 3,500 pound rated axles on this. So basically, 
This trailer is, is way overbuilt on the weight it can support. It could basically support a whole nother one of these trailers on top of it being 3,500 pounds. That would get you to your maximum uh, capacity for the axles of 7,000 pounds. So you think about that, you could double this trailer and the axles are just finally at their, their maximum uh, uh, weight level. Something uh, Winnebago does I think is really unique in the uh, RV world. In their smaller trailers, you still get the big RV parts and pieces. You get a six cubic foot refrigerator and separate freezer. Most trailers in this size range are going to give you the little 3.2 cubic foot fridge, which is about uh, three quarters of this area, and that's it. That's combining your, your freezer and the fridge. So full size uh, refrigerator. You've got the um, oven and three burner stove set up like your bigger RVs. Again, your smaller RVs out there are typically just going to give you a two burner stove up here and no oven. Two bowl sink. Again, that's really unique. Most trailers out there are going to give you one sink and uh, well, it's pretty obvious which is better, two, two bowl sink or one bowl sink. Uh, I've got the, the bed up here, queen size bed, which is really nice. Uh, lots of room to get into that. This is a smaller trailer, not trying to magically be a huge trailer. So it doesn't have the walk around queen bed like the bigger trailers. But again, we're only 20 feet long and we only weigh 3,500 pounds. So, you know, you're gonna have to have a few little compromises there. And here's the dinette I was talking about uh, with this big slide out, not a small little slide out. This is going out, you know, about three feet or so. So it gives you a lot of room where I'm standing here that, uh, you know, people camping in the trailer can get by each other without having to, you know, get scooched all the way over to one side. Um, great storage all the way around the trailer. Got uh, huge storage here, you know, pantry area over here under the radio. Comes with a good size TV. That's, uh, I believe, a 32 inch television. You know, if you wanna watch a little TV, you can, you can play DVDs right through the radio to the TV, which is nice. And uh, quality in Winnebago is really, I think, pretty much second to none. Things like, you look at a lot of the trailers, you won't see this. The, and it's, a, it's a minor thing, but multiply this by 10, 15. The caulking going along here, around the whole edge of the trailer, Really impressive. Uh, that's just their, their attention to detail. They didn't need to do that. Um, so very nice job there. Looking into the bathroom here. Uh, you know, again, a small trailer. It's not gonna have a huge bathroom, but it, it does what you need to. Uh, you do have the second sink in the bathroom. That's key, uh, in my opinion, so that you uh, don't have to come out to the kitchen sink to wash your hands when you're done using the bathroom. Um, oh, one other thing on the uh, trailer. Again, I try to hit on the unique things about uh, this specific trailer. Seven feet wide. This is not an eight foot wide trailer. So when you're towing this uh, behind a half ton pickup truck or a, a midsize SUV like a Jeep uh, Cherokee, uh, you know, a Forerunner or something like that, it's pretty close to the width of your vehicle. So you don't need super wide mirrors sticking out and it's going to stay in that wind stream that your, your vehicles, your tow vehicles created and just have it a much easier towing experience for you. So um, with that, uh, I'm sure I missed a couple things, but uh, come on down to Motorsportsland and I'll help fill in the details there. And um, again, this is William. Thank you for your time.